are you, Mama? The other day, we were all in the kitchen talking about tall people and short people, and someone made the comment, I don't want to be tall. I said, guys, you grow up to be exactly the height God designed you to be. That's the height that is perfect for you. Then we started talking about the benefits of being tall, how you could reach high things. And Jonathan blurts out, I'm going to reach goals. Where do our kids come up with these things? <laughs> now, this episode is not about setting and reaching goals. What it is about is growing up and being exactly who God designed you to be. I'm still growing up, Mama. I haven't arrived yet, but I am on my way. How about you? Let's talk about identity and who you are, Mama, in this episode. Let's go. You're listening to the Renewed Mama podcast. I'm Kimberly Mutar, and I help mamas like you stay renewed. Renewed in your thoughts that are on repeat while you wash dishes, fold laundry. Renewed in the words that you say to yourself and to your children when it's the best day ever and when it spirals into chaos and temper tantrums. Renewed in how you respond so that you keep showing up as the mama you want to be. I helped with a kids camp this summer and was asked to lead a devotion one morning for the camp counselors. I gave them all a slip of paper and asked them to write on the paper one word that described who they are. I told them to write down the first word that came to their mind, an adjective that described who they are. I ask you the same thing. Who are you, Mama? What's the, the first thing that comes to your mind when you think about who you are? You can even say it out loud if you're washing dishes or you're driving in your car. Before I collected the counselor's papers, I had them look at it and see if their adjective told what they said about themselves, what others said about them, or did they write what God says about them? What about you? For some of the counselors, it was super easy to think of an adjective that described who they are, and they wrote the word right away. But I was surprised at how for others, it was hard. They couldn't think of a word to describe themselves. Some even turned their slip of paper in blank. Hmm. Let's read what those camp counselors, they wrote down and see if any of these describe you. Kind, beloved, persistent, special, creative, joyful, hardworking, loud, studious, empathetic, artistic, playful, forgiving, athletic. Then I encourage the camp counselors with the same thing that I want to remind you with, Mama. And you can pass this same encouragement on to your children. Remember that there is one who defines who you are. One where it matters more what he says about you than what you even say about yourself. One whom you live to please and obey more than pleasing people and caring what adjectives they would use to describe you. The one is God. Do you know well what he says and thinks about you? So much so that when you look in the mirror, you see what God says about you. I'm working on this because I try really hard to renew my mind and to be intentional with my words and my belief. When I face a challenge, when I wonder what I should do about this, like how should we handle this, Lord? I go back to who God says I am. God says, I am his daughter. I have been adopted. He is my Abba, Father, Daddy. I am God's girl, special and loved. 
God loves me as he loves his son, Jesus. The love of the Father is in me. I share God's nature just as my children share mine. I am a partaker or a sharer of the divine, the like God nature. The Father's DNA shines through me. I look like my Father. I am made in God's image. He sings love songs over me and rejoices over me for good with shouts of joy. God says of me that I am adequate. I am good enough. He said of me along with all of creation that it was very good. He delights in me with gladness. He renews me with his love. He waits on high to be gracious to me. I am a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord. He has called me, chosen me. He has not rejected me. I am forgiven. I am in right standing, wholly accepted, heard and seen by my Father. I have no past with Jesus. My past is under his shed blood. I live today in his promises. I am in Christ. He bought my righteousness, sanctification, and redemption through his shed blood on the cross. I boast not in myself, but in the Lord. I am equipped for every good work that God has planned for me. God says and thinks the same thing about you, mama. You can take all of those me's and let them be your me. Do you know and believe this? Does what you say about yourself line up with what God says and thinks about you? Where do you need new, truth-filled thoughts so that you agree with what he already knows and loves about you? If you want to talk about your identity and what God says about you, reach out to me through the contact pages that are on speaklifebadges.com and on RenewedMamaCoaching.com, or you can DM me on Facebook. You know, a lack of confidence and right beliefs about who you are lead you to put others down and criticize. I know because that was my story in my early parenting. I lacked confidence and criticized Andrew mostly because I didn't like the mama that I was. I took my insecurities out on him. You can hear my story on the Renewed Mama podcast, episode 36. The link is in the show notes. Your finances, your work, your business endeavors, your motherhood does not define who you are. God does. Renew your mind to who He says you are. Take time away to a quiet place. Listen to what he says. Maybe you like to paint. I like to go out to the swings and swing and talk with him. Ask him, who do you say that I am, God? Search his word. Write down what he tells you, what you find in the Bible. Write it on post-it notes all around your house. From an understanding of who God says you are, you can move, you can serve, you can work, you can change diapers and scrub toilets and get up at night with a sick child. How beautiful to grow up, to walk in a strong confidence in who God says you are. I pray that for you, Mama, for your children to come to that same understanding as well. This makes me think of Speak Life Badges sticker awards that say, I am priceless. I am important. I am special. I am extraordinary. I have purpose. I am loved. I am successful. God says all of these about your children just as he says them over you. So speak these words of life and truth to your children in a fun, sticky way using Speak Life Badges. You can get them at speaklifebadges.com. 
I pray that this blesses you, Mama. If you need any help with your parenting, speaking life to yourself and to your children, renewing your thoughts, your words, and responses, I am here for you. Go to RenewedMamaCoaching.com and book a chat together. Get your questions answered because you're parenting the peace in your home, better relationships with your children, less outbursts and temper tantrums, and a strong, positive mom mindset can be yours. Reach out at RenewedMamaCoaching.com. I'm here for you. If the Renewed Mama podcast encourages you, would you take just one minute and leave a review on Apple Podcasts or comment on a YouTube video? Your review can help the podcast to grow so that more mamas find it and can stay renewed too. I appreciate it so much. Do you want your words of encouragement and praise to have a lasting impact on your children? Then give them Speak Life Badges sticker awards. Here's what Erica had to say about Speak Life Badges. Today I challenged Clayton to take a baby step in bravery at the splash pad. I know these little word seeds of encouragement will grow and help him when he needs bravery in the future. At bedtime, I removed the sticker and placed it beside the mirror. Just glancing at it really encouraged my heart too. Words seem so small, but are so powerful and can completely change the way we view ourselves. Shop Speak Life Badges today at speaklifebadges.com. Austin the Hedgehog is bringing mailbox fun to your kids. Your children ages 3 to 13 can receive mailbox surprises like activity postcards, happy birthday cards, stickers, crafts, recipe cards, coloring pages, puzzles, special gifts like the I Am Loved journal, a tumbler, Austin's matching happy birthday toque, and so much more from Austin the Hedgehog. Straight to your mailbox with their own name on it each month all teaching life lessons such as helping, using time wisely, how to monitor their own screen time, how to choose the right friends. Being strong means more than just muscles, how to have self-control, and their words are like seeds that will grow into fruit in their life. It is oh so good from Austin the Hedgehog. Two subscription levels are available. Register your children today at austinskidsclub.com. For more resources, visit the Renewed Mama podcast, Renewed Mama Coaching, Speak Life Badges, and Austin's Kids Club.